Hey friends, welcome to topcoaching.com. So today we are here to discuss the chapter Introduction to Organic Chemistry. Right? So before I go into the details of the chapter, let us first understand what organic chemistry is. So friends, compounds of carbon are known as organic compounds and the chemistry dealing with the study of these compounds is called organic chemistry. Now two questions here. First one is why the compounds of carbon have to be given a specific name as to organic compounds. You know uh, we have ammonia made out of nitrogen then we have water made out of hydrogen. We haven't uh, you know classified those compounds as nitrogen compounds or you know nit a chemistry known as nitrogen chemistry. So what is so special about these compounds that has uh, you know uh, forced us to create an all new branch of science known as organic chemistry. Right? That is the first question we have. Answer to that question is that carbon has a peculiar property known as catenation right and because of this property what do we see here lot of chained compounds right this is a linear chain this is a branched chain these are you know chains in ring shape so carbon forms lots and lots of compounds due to this chain making structure of it and the property is called catenation. Now these compounds are very huge in number and can be categorized into similar categories and that is the reason we have an altogether new branch of chemistry known as organic chemistry. Now why these compounds are known as organic compounds? Because organic has a dictionary meaning of something that is related to living processes right and once we move into you know next slide you will see that how deeply these organic compounds are related to the living organisms to the processes that take place in their bodies and so on right